Hello, everybody. This is Christy Bryant with Keller Williams Market Center Number One in Austin. I'm with the Best of Austin Living team. I hope you are doing well today. Glad everybody is adopting DocuSign, and I've been getting some questions. So I thought, as the little questions come up, I would go ahead and answer them. Today, I'm going to show you how to modify documents in an envelope as you have already started. So the first thing is if you've put documents into an envelope and one of the parties has signed, you cannot make any changes to the documents in the envelope. So at that point, if you really need to change something, then you would need to start over. But it's actually pretty simple in DocuSign. So here I am in the documents page within a room and I'm, I'm going to send these documents to the buyer. I have the uh, representation agreement, the wire fraud, which I added by coming over here to the plus add. I clicked on that. I went to DocuSign forms. I changed it from library to group. And then I went actually to all TR forms is how I've been doing it just to make it easy. I, you can see if I type in wire fraud warning, I have that there. And if I have the representation agreement, um, that's click there. So I've already added them to the room, so here I go. I'm going to add two more forms, just to remind you all how you can pull in forms from uh, templates as well. So you click on the forms that you would want to put in the envelope. Come over here and click on DocuSign. This menu bar appears once you click on the circles to the left of the forms. I click on DocuSign. It is now going to open an envelope for me. I'm going to add into templates from the shared with me that the market center has shared with us. I'm going to add the general information and I'm going to add the IABS. I'm going to click add selected. For me, back best practice is the envelope name is the same as, uh, and this is what you see. Um, I use the same title for the envelope name that I do on my email subject. There's my smiling face. It's going to scooch me over. Um, always in the email address or email message, please read, review, ask questions, and then sign. Okay, so here are the documents that I'm working with. Again, when you're in the envelope right here, I can only see these. I can't make any modifications. Um, I personally like to start with my IABS first um, and then the general information. But uh, for the purpose of this, the change I'm wanting to see is on the representation agreement, actually. So I'm just going to leave it in this order and feel free to modify it by moving around if you would like. For this example, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I do need my recipients, so I'm going to go ahead and you always want to go with three tagged roles. I have my buyer one, which is going to be Donald Duck and then the buyer agent, which is me, and put myself in there. There we go, add selected. Okay, so at this point, uh, I do like to put myself, unless I need to put in an executed date, which I could have myself as first and then last to go back in after everybody signed and have the executed date in there. Um, I do like putting myself first so I could see it. So signing order, I'm gonna have myself one, and then the buyer be two. That way I can make sure that everything is correct in the documents just one more time before it goes to the client. So here I click next. And I immediately notice that there's something in the document that I am not satisfied with. So within the envelope, I do I am able to make modifications using the text box. I could do a mark um, through here with the markup tools. However, in this case, um, let's just say that it's something that I really wanted to be on the original form. Maybe it's too much verbiage, something that I just need to make sure that it's corrected. So right here on this term, I'm not satisfied that it's not there. Yes, I could just drag over a text box, but let me show you what you would do if you want to actually modify the form. So I am going to click on the go back right here, this little arrow back. And I am going to remove by clicking on the X at the top of this um, icon box. I'm going to remove this document from this envelope. Remove it, yes. I'm going to click Save and Close here at the top right. Again, you can only do this if nobody has signed something. If somebody has signed one of the documents, including you, 
then you are not able to modify an envelope. But if nobody is signed, then you can easily adjust the documents, put, um, remove them and put them back in. So I'm gonna click save and close. I'm gonna click over here on documents. I'm gonna click on the buyer representation agreement because that's where I found that I wanted to make a change. Again, in DocuSign, you can always go back into the original forms, make changes, and then send them back out. It's much easier, actually, than uh, DotLoop was for this. So uh, I believe today is the 8th. I'm going to put in that date. There we go. That's the change that I wanted to make. I'm going to click Save and Close. And then I'm going to go here back to Envelopes. I click on Envelopes. I am going to go into the one that I was just playing around with right there. So here I've got the three documents that are still in here. It still shows the buyer agent, buyer one. It still has all this information, so I don't have to redo any of this information in the envelope. I'm going to click on Room Docs. When I click on Room Docs, it takes me back into the document area. I'm going to click on the buyer representation agreement, and this is the updated buyer representation agreement. You have to remove the document, update it, and then add it back in for it to show the document with the changes that you made. So here is putting in the last order. I'm going to just move that to the front. Every once in a while when I've moved a document um, and I go back into the envelope when I click on next, it doesn't show it in the order that I want it. And I'll have to come back and I have to adjust that just to know that happens sometimes when you're messing around in the envelope slot. Um, and it actually just did that right now. So let me move that back over. Okay, so everything else in here is great. I'm going to click on next. And then hopefully it's the, yep, there we go, the buyer representation agreement. And here is the change that I made. So again, you have options. You don't have to go back and fix it on the form. You could modify it with the tools over here. However, in some cases, you do want to make sure that the original form is updated, especially if you know that you're going to be sending it back out for whatever reason. Um, so I hope that this helped. Until next time.